Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to be talking to you all about uh, negative thoughts and um, why we may think negatively, steps and tips in what to do to kind of combat those negative thoughts and how we can think more positively. Um, just to say, I am so sorry for not posting anything for last week because I have been so busy, I had a super mega, mega busy week. Um, and yes, so I decided to um, post um, today. Um, also, for those of you who are new, welcome. Uh, my name is Shantonia Lewis and I'm a qualified counsellor. I am aiming to become more integrative because I've been taught solely in the person-centred approach. So I am doing a course um, currently on um, CPT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, for those of you who don't know, um, and different kind of therapies helps for me to then uh, recognise what my client may need um, and what therapies may be helpful for them. Um, so let's jump right into this. Um, yeah, so negative thoughts um, is something that we all have encountered at some point in our lives. We may have thought of ourselves in a negative way, um, spoke positively, sorry, negatively and to ourselves. Um, in an awful way. Yes, we need to speak more positively to ourselves. It's so important. I'll get that get to that in a minute. Um, but negative thoughts um, are mainly heightened um, when we are in stressful situations, when we may be feeling anxious, when we're probably feeling depressed um, and feeling really low. Um, so negative thoughts tend to intrude our minds. Now, oftentimes we feel as if when negative thoughts come in, no, 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 we, they can't come in. We need to block them out, block them out. Yes, um, it's, you know, not all negative thoughts are good, um, but it's sometimes good to acknowledge those negative thoughts. So to really sit with it, really to look at what are we, what is going on for us? Because oftentimes our emotions are what connects us to ourselves. Because when we're looking at those negativity, looking at what's going on, able to really see, okay, I acknowledge this. I understand this is what I'm thinking, but then I'm trying to now think things in a more positive way. Um, I think one great tip when you're trying to come out, get over negative thoughts is to, um, like I said, to acknowledge them. So that's number one. Um, number two maybe is to write them down, jot them down on a piece of paper, and again, it helps you to um, look at them and just see what's going on for you with your negative thoughts. Um, what kind of negative thoughts are coming up actually? Um, what you may be saying to yourself? Um, because we need to remember that we live most of our times in our heads. So yes, even though maybe speaking to people, there's obviously most of the times we're living in our minds and in our brains so we need to make sure that our headspace is the happiest place to be because when we think negative negatively about ourselves our body also hears what's going on and oftentimes it's not very nice especially when it comes to body image and um all those kind of stuff it yeah our body hears what's going on um so it's just nice to make sure that our minds are an amazing positive place to be in um, so that's the whole gist of why I'm doing this because, um, you know, it's so easy for us to think negatively and not think about the positive things. Um, another tip when you are feeling, have, having those negative thoughts um, is to maybe just change your environment. If it's your environment that's making you feel stressed, making you feel anxious, maybe change it. So you're in a more different environment that's not going to make you feel awful about yourself or have making you feel as though you have bad thoughts going on. Um, another aspect may be to exercise, um, if that helps. Um, exercising is also a great way to um, bring back a bit some more balance and um, yeah, get rid of those negativity that's going on in your mind. Um, maybe go outside if that helps. Um, if you can, um, you know, go outside and get some fresh air in. Um, and being in nature allows you to think more positively about your surroundings and also make you reflect 
on what's going on in your life too. And hopefully that will also help you feel a lot more better because when we feel empowered, you know, it's, it's just amazing, it's great. So it's all about stepping away from anything chaotic um, and having that peace. Um, another tip is when you are having those negative thoughts is to make sure you hype yourself up because you are your number one cheerleader, okay? You need to go out there and say, yes, I am amazing. I, I can do anything. Um, I'm, you know, I'm awesome. Um, and, you know, those positive thoughts helps to expel the negative thoughts because when we do feel, when we have those negative thoughts, we oftentimes overthink things. Um, so when we do hype ourselves up, um, not to make ourselves feel prideful, that's not what I'm trying to say. And we hype ourselves up to feel a lot more better um, and to put things into perspective. Um, so when we do um, hype ourselves up and think more positively, the negative thoughts that are not rational um, tends to go away um, and that's a great way to do things as well um ways to oh yeah another one as well maybe smile a lot more if that helps um so you know smile at a stranger smile at yourself in the mirror and um, oftentimes i don't do this we just go in the mirror and we um we just do our hair or um put our clothes on and whatnot um, and we don't really take the time to actually smile at ourselves or smile at other people because when we smile it brightens up our day um, and it just causes you to feel a lot more happier um it's interesting i'm smiling right now it's great um and you feel so much more relaxed and um you just feel amazing when you just take that time to just smile um and laugh a lot more too if that helps so ways in which you can think more positively hmm. well a lot of times i've been saying to people is to look in the mirror again um, and yeah look into that mirror and tell yourself positive things about yourself um it's called positive words of affirmation now you can find some of these online um and tweak them to your needs um, so if you're a Christian like myself, you can find um, some Bible texts that are encouraging. Um, if not, don't worry, because there are um, positive affirmations out there for you still. Um, and you just say those things in the morning, um, maybe in the evening. And it helps you set you up for the day and make you feel a lot more confident, a lot more um better, feel, you feel a lot more better in yourself. Um, and those negative thoughts you have yourself start to dispel because what you say you start to believe it and um, which is so important so if you're saying things are negative like um, i'm no good at this i'm rubbish at this um, i fail all the time all the time you're you then start to believe what you say so the negative thoughts you then start to believe it however if you start saying to yourself okay well yes i i wasn't so great at i don't know um playing badminton today um but i cooked a great dish or um you know i could have done better doing so and so but i was great at doing xyz um also saying things like i'm smart i am important um i deserve to be here um i am intelligent i am beautiful i am handsome um i'm great at playing tennis um all those positive things start to um, dispel the negativity that's in your mind. Um, and you start to have a lot more better outlook on yourself and how you are as a person. So another way to have positive thoughts is to practice gratitude, okay? Um, and it's been shown to reduce stress. Um, it's been shown to um, improve your self-esteem and confidence um, and even build up that resilience that you need. It's try and do this also maybe once every day if you can. Um, and it may be thanking somebody for um, doing something for you. Um, thanking someone for cooking you a nice meal. Um, I don't know, like kind of thanking, 
thanking people throughout that day, even thanking yourself for what you've done. Um, and it's thanking them for the unconditional love that they may give you um, in the little things. So it's gratitude in the small things. Um, and it also helps you to think more positively um, about yourself in life. Um, also with gratitude, maybe keep a journal. Um, so when you are having those negative thoughts, look back on the good things that have happened. And hopefully when you do that, it will sort to, yeah, the negative thoughts will then start to go because you're looking back and thinking, oh yeah, I remember on this day, this happened and it was a great day. And so it helps you to look at the small, minor things that build up to the big, amazing things that make you feel happy and have those positive thoughts. Also, if you're having negative thoughts and oftentimes it comes from negative people, I try and find some positive people, people who um, like their aura is just positive. Um, they speak positively all the time. Yes, it's, it's normal to have negative thoughts, but you don't want to be hanging around with people who are always negative, always putting you down because it's not going to make you feel any more better about yourself. So if you try and find people who are positive, who um, see the best things in life, who are optimistic, um, it's a great way for you to also have that positive mindset to think, yes, um, it's a great day today and it's going to be amazing no matter what happens um, to me. What else is there? Um, yeah, maybe start each day positively. Um, you know, telling yourself that today is going to be a great day for me, no matter what happens. Okay, because obviously each day you're going to have challenges, you're going to have something that's going to be peak um, and it may set you back. But if you tell yourself you're going to have an amazing day despite anything that may go wrong, you know, again, it'll build up that resilience um, and for you to think, yeah, okay, even though that went bad today, um, I still had an amazing day despite that happening. Um, and maybe you might even be thankful for that thing even happening. Um, you never know. Um, another thing to help you set, that, set a positive um, day is to maybe listen to some positive music um, that are uplifting, that make you feel happy and jolly and everything just sunny, <laughs> um, you know, even when it's not. Um, and share some positivity around with some people. Give somebody a compliment. Tell them that they look amazing, that um, they have a really nice smile um, and thanking people around you, or even the smallest things like... Um, helping you open up a door or, um, I don't know, other little things um, that you want to be thankful for people for. So, yeah, those little things hopefully will help you to think more positively um, and less negatively. Um, negative thoughts will always come. But once you have a tactic, once you have... Um, you know, the little something that will help you to feel a lot more better. It'll make all the difference, um, I promise you. Um, also, again, if you have negative thoughts and you are struggling, um, you know, seek help. Go talk to someone, talk to a family member, talk to a friend, um, talk to a counsellor, a therapist. I'll be able to help you um, to find ways in which you can think more positively. And they'll also help you to also find out what's going on the root cause as to what's causing those negative thoughts because like I said negative thoughts um, are often heightened by stress um, anxiety depression and all those kind of things so they'll be able to help you um, on that journey to think more positively um, in life so yes um, if you also find anything else you know let me know um, email, email me if you need to um, that'd be amazing so I hope that this week we can talk more positively to ourselves because our body hears everything that we say our mind takes in everything that we say and once we start to talk out loud positive things our life will be a lot more a little bit more happier um, and, and a lot more positive um so yes I hope you find this video helpful um 
and yes um, i'll see you in the next video thank you so much um and bye <laughs>